Hello and welcome to this video. It is actually a demonstration of project 2B of the CS50 introduction to AI course with Python. So it's actually a, a heredity project. So in this, the, there's an AI that will assess the likelihood that a person will have a particular genetic trait. So let's see. So what it is, is that there are these mutated versions of the GJB2 gene. They are one of the leading causes of hearing impairment in newborns. Each person carries two versions of the gene. So each person has a potential to possess either zero, one or two copies of the hearing impairment version GJB2. Unless a person undergoes genetic testing though, it is not so easy to know how many copies of a mutated GJB2 gene a person has. So, this is some hidden state information that has an effect we can observe hearing impairment but we don't necessarily directly know. After all, some people might have one or two copies of the mutated GJB2 but may not exhibit hearing impairment while others might have no copies but may still exhibit hearing impairment. So let's see it in action. So I'm switching to command prompt window now, the terminal window. So this is the terminal window. Um, so once I type python heredity.py and then type the data set, the location of the data set, so data slash family 0.csv. So all these probabilities come. So it says that Harry will have a gene between 0 0.0092. Um, if he has two copies of the gene or a probability of 45% of for him to have one copy of the gene and 53% probability that he has no copy of the gene and then like that there are all these trade probabilities for every single person inside the CSV file so in this there's Harry, James and Lily so if I move to the next one so this one has the Weasley family Arthur, Charlie, Fred, Ginny, Molly, and Ron. So here also there are all these probabilities given. And lastly, there's the last CSV file. And this one has the Granger Weasley family. So like Hermione and Ron. So there's Arthur, Hermione, Molly, Ron, Rose. So all those people. And the probabilities that they will have the trait in the G. So hope you like this project. Thank you Harvard. Thank you CS50. Goodbye.